Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Counterfeit from Daniel Meadows. What is it? Uh, uh, basically, Counterfeit is a uh, series of cards that all depict different movie titles or book titles and you uh, move your spectator through the process of selecting the exact cards that you want them to. It's typically called a this or that style effect and that's kind of what counterfeit is. So let's take a look at Daniel performing counterfeit right now. This is counterfeit. So if you had to imagine you were gonna watch one of these DVDs tonight, which one would you watch? Okay, so you want this one. Um, you chose an action film. I like action films too, so should I watch this one or this one? Dragon with a girl tattoo. Dragon with a girl tattoo. Good choice, so I'll watch this one. So we don't want that one, we don't want that one, we don't want that one, we don't want that one. You want this one, and I'll have this one. Now I was very particular with my language. What I said there was we're not going to have that one, that one, that one, or that one. You chose this one for me, and you chose this one for yourself. All right, so that was Counterfeit. Uh, if you don't know who Daniel Meadows is, he did the Cerebus Wallet, he did the infamous DVD. Uh, this was put out by Magic World UK. All right, so what I liked or what I didn't like about it. Uh, I like the fact that Daniel's trying to take uh, a this or that style effect and kind of upgrade it, modernize it by using uh, book titles or movie titles that people would currently know. Uh, because it's counterfeit, uh, they're not exactly titles that people know. They're kind of, it's kind of, uh, the words are kind of twisted around. Um, but that said, it kind of dates the effect um, just because, you know, those books and those movies, they won't be popular forever, and so your audience might not always remember uh, what they were, but that's okay, you know, that that's fine. It, doesn't, it, just, I just, it just bears noting. All right, so a couple of questions we always ask about our magic reviews. First, what's in the box? Uh, you're gonna get the DVD, okay? And then you're gonna get a little packet that contains all the cards that you are going to need. Uh, the cards are all really well printed. They have the movie titles or book titles in the front, and then they have the reveals on the back. Okay, can you do it surrounded? I think you can do it surrounded. Uh, there aren't any angle issues here. It's a card trick, uh, and it's a pretty straightforward card trick, so you're not gonna run into that. Uh, can it be inspected? Uh, not really. I mean, the cards that the people select, so the, the cards your spectator chooses, they can certainly inspect those. They couldn't really inspect all the cards uh, at the end of the effect, so you, it's, you're gonna have to do some audience management there. Um, overall quality and production value, uh, it's, the, the cards aren't exactly bicycle stock, okay? It's kind of more like Uno stock, so just <laughs> just a heads up there. Uh, the DVD is a 17 minute long DVD, and it's, it's shot pretty well. All right, so how original is the effect? compared to effects with a similar plot. Um, Daniel admits right away that this is based off of a Bill Goldman slash Stephen Tucker effect. Daniel even admits in the DVD that it's the same trick but with a quote unquote different coat of paint. Uh, I recognize this trick right away as an effect called This and That by Banachek, which is on his Psy series volume one. Um, but he does give credit where credit is due and that's important. Okay, so how much practice does it require? Um, it doesn't require a lot of practice, especially if you already know uh, the move that you need to do to the, the trick. In fact, when I got this and I opened it up and I saw the cards and I kind of turned them over, what I did was I quickly watched the advertisement again, like a commercial, and I did the effect along with him and I was able to do it like that first try. Uh, it, it, there's really no special handlings if you already know uh, the one move that he's going to teach you in this. All you have to do is remember the routine and it's pretty easy to perform. All right, so how much setup and reset is there? Virtually none, you know? Uh, there is some uh, ad copy that says that it can be done without a table, and I'm sure that's true. Daniel doesn't really give you an example of that in the DVD. I'm sure you could fan the six cards for the spectator and then place the discards in your pocket, but I think this trick lends itself better to you using a table. Um, positives, all right, so some positives about this. Uh, only the six cards are used. Uh, you can carry them around with you uh, in a close-up wallet and it packs flat really well. I think a trick like this has the potential to play really big, especially if you pitch it more as a mental miracle and less like a, oh, I knew what kind of card you'd pick. You know what I'm saying? So I think it has the potential to play bigger than perhaps uh, even the way it's presented. All right, so negatives. And just like we always say around here, there's always negatives to everything. These are just the negatives I found. They don't have to be yours. Uh, again, I kind of take some issue with the fake covers and the fake titles that are used in this. I know that's the routine, hence the title counterfeit. But, uh, and I'm assuming, you know, of course, to use real covers or to use real movie posters 
or to use real movie titles, you get into a huge licensing issue and that costs a ton of money. But it could be just a little distracting to your spectator for them to wonder why uh, the titles aren't familiar to them. <laughs> All right, okay, so is it worth your money? It's $25, like I said, you're getting a 17 minute DVD, you're getting six cards, so I think it's right in the pocket uh, of being worth your money, especially if you do not already perform uh, this or that style effect. I think Daniel uh, presents it for you in a very easy to perform fashion. Hey, who would like this? All right, people looking to spice up an old effect, uh, people that do table magic, absolutely. Okay, so that was Counterfeit from Daniel Meadows, and if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at one of your favorite Murphy's Magic suppliers. Thanks, bye.